The SQ is very flexible when it comes to patching, and there are a huge number of possible input sources and output destinations. Input sources can be selected for individual channels by going to the preamp section of the processing screen. Here we can select from local inputs, such as the XLR inputs, or from one of the many digital input options, and then select a channel. In this case, we are patching USB channel 24 to input channel 12. To make the patch, just touch apply. To use a channel insert point, go to the insert section, select where you want to send to and receive from, and then touch apply. If you're making many input and output patches, however, such as when setting up, press the IO screen key. The left hand side shows the options for input channels, input to mix or mix external in, input direct out, mix out and rack effects outputs. Touch one of these and the tabs along the top of the screen will show the input sources or output destinations. Local is for the analog inputs and outputs built into the SQ itself. S-Link is for remote stage boxes. Mi is for patching outputs to a connected Mi system. USB is for either SQ drive or USB-B, and the I.O. port tab is for a fitted option card. As both S-Link and the I.O. port allow access to 128 channels, their patching matrices are split into four lots of 32 channels. Touch the tab multiple times to scroll through these. Available patch points are shown in light gray, unavailable patch points are dark gray. Touch and drag to navigate. Here we can see the patch I made previously. Active patches are displayed as solid white and unavailable or inactive patches are striped. To make or remove a patch, just touch a patch point without dragging. 